Hey, Life Geek Kids and Driving Mutants. You are listening to KAB 1340 Antonio Bay Radio. I'm Lady Shasha, Mistress of the Snark, Connoisseur of Gore, and Hostess with the Mostest. And I just watched Barbarian. First of all, the actress playing Tess looks like Halle Berry's little sister. She stays at an Airbnb in a dilapidated neighborhood in Detroit, where she meets Keith, who is already in the house because he said that he also had a reservation. Tess does dumb person in horror movie-ish over and over again, And it's so annoying. The name of this movie should have been Don't Go In There. Because why are you going in the basement and then the sub-basement? Anyway, just when I was going to write this movie off as some old BS, it changed gears and picked up. Justin Long shows up and as a horror scream king, he has a great track record for picking good movies to be in. Or is it that he makes the movies good? He is seriously underrated. This is also where it gets super tense and creepy. The suspense is heavy as well. I love that this movie has many twists and turns. The trailer makes it look like an average horror movie. It is not. I love that the trailer misdirects you. Then this movie became so funny to me when a certain reveal happens that turns this into a weird drive-in classic. And I like weird drive-in classics. The thing about Tess is that she absolutely is going to do dumb horror movie people stuff. She just won't leave. The movie is simultaneously good, bad, and entertaining at the same time. It pulled what I'm now calling a malignant. That's when a movie starts out a straight horror but then the third act becomes campy as hell. Now mind you, Malignant didn't invent that. We had these types of movies through the 60s up to the 80s, but James Wan's Malignant made it popular again, and I love it. This was a fun ride. I had a good time. My only regret is not watching this on opening night, specifically at a black theater. But like I always say, don't take my word for it. Watch it for yourself. Just because I love something doesn't mean you won't hate it, and just because I hate something doesn't mean you won't love it. Have you seen Barbarian? What did you think? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, this has been Lady Shasha for KAB 1340, Antonio Bay Radio, signing off. Stay tuned for spoilers. Spoiler alert, you have been warned. The way Keith would have been on his own messing with me, I would have been out of there so fast you don't even know. The first time she got out of the basement, I would have told him what's up on my way out of the door. Like, I don't get Tess's problem. She just met Keith yesterday. The police would have to go looking for him. The way I would peace out so quickly, wait, I wouldn't be there in the first place because I don't Airbnb. Even when I stay in a hotel, I Google Earth the entire neighborhood. She was driving and looking at the neighborhood like she never saw the area that surrounded the Airbnb like Google doesn't exist. Remember when I said I laughed at a particular reveal? When the lady creature was trying to breastfeed Justin Long's character and booping his nose and baby talking to him, I lost my shit so hard laughing. And I cannot impress upon you enough how Tess worked my last nerve always going back in that house and back to the basement. Let's talk about the creature lady. Why does she have superhuman strength? We, we don't know. The movie never explains that. Also, she looks like Castle Freak. Why does her girl look like Chunk from the Goonies? That's all the spoiler talk I wanted to say at the end of this. So again, this is Lady Shasha for KAB 1340 Antonio Bay Radio signing off for real this time. Until next time. Mm-hmm.